He was the uh, peacemaker when uh, Tim Floyd got bounced. Let's join uh, Dickie Simpkins. Basically, uh, I pretty much yeah, feel the same way. It's only a couple of <coughs> simple words that sums this up. <coughs> they outplayed us. Game over. Yeah. End of discussion. We got to move on. Figure it out. Figure how do you? How do you? How do you? I guess I'll play them. I mean, is there anything that you can say that that uh, could give Bulls fans some hope or whatever? Only thing, <coughs> only thing I can say is uh, throw this game in the trash tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, this game is over. We suck. And we suck tonight, as simple as that. What I can tell the fans is just look forward to Saturday. We got to find a way to win. And uh, we're going to put our heads together in practice, have a good practice, and, and come out Saturday and find a way to win. That's pretty much all I have to say myself. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, your thoughts about uh, Floyd's ejection? He said that it was with intent uh, because he wanted to express a few sentiments to Mr. Spooner. Your your take on it. What did you think of it? Well, I think Tim was uh, setting a statement. I mean, you know, setting a tone. One, probably trying to get us fired up. Two, trying to establish, uh, establish himself towards the referees. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, it's kind of tough out there at this point in time. It's kind of frustrating and then by him watching this play tonight he probably even got more frustrated and sick he probably couldn't believe what was going on so sounds like all a mail moment yeah all those things combined <laughs> makes a person get so upset and pissed off what else to do but you know fuss at the referee but uh you know he was setting the tone he was doing what he had to do he tried to get us fired up he's trying to set the tone with the referees and uh the frustration of the game all of them all of them built up and hey i know how he feels dickie are you are you guys embarrassed by some of the games sometimes or frustrated what, what adjective it's you? not it's no embarrassment it's no embarrassment i mean we know it's going to be tough it's no embarrassment it's just frustration frustration you know what i mean uh tonight was frustrating <laughs> So, uh, gotta win. It's that simple. It's not too much to say. I mean, we've been saying the same thing over. We lost how many games at home? We just gotta win. Reminds me of Brian Cox back in 97 saying, We sucked in the Bear locker room. Number two, I like that. Of but course. it goes back to a point you made in the pregame with John Paxson about the frustration of defeat and how it mounts. Well, I, I, I know one thing uh, being close, coming close is one thing. You need W's because the effort is there, but you keep getting L's at the losses. After a while, you go, hey, what else do we have to do here? That's why I thought, and I asked Pax earlier, that I see the full type of all-out hustle or playing yeah. hard. I thought in, at times it was frustration starting to sit in, and all of a sudden there, there's a pullback. You're thinking about frustration while they're reacting. So I like what I see. I like the the coach being thrown out. I like the fact that a ball player cares. Now, the biggest difference is you got to do it on the court. We can talk about it all we want. All right, my friend. Uh, don't forget, Sunday, once again, Bulls Raptors right here on Fox Sports Chicago. On behalf of the Dutchman, I'm Chad Kopp. I hope you have yourself a pleasant night. Peace, love, and rock and roll.